All right, welcome here to Wabash High School. Tonight we have the Rochester Zebras in a TRC matchup on the road tonight at Wabash. Just getting started with the JB matchup here between the Apaches and the Zebras. Glad you could join us tonight on RTC TV4. Apaches have picked up the first two points here, lead 2-0 early in set number one of the JV match. A little bit different look tonight from the corner here at the, uh, well, the, the new part, I guess, of the gym. The, I guess uh, they've added on right in front of us and behind us, I guess, is the newest part of this gym here at Wabash. So we're up in the corner. So a little bit different look here than what you're used to, but I think it works out pretty good. So we've got a lot of uh, games going on tonight on RTC TV4. In uh, Royal Center, the Panthers taking on the Triton Trojans, a big Hoosier North Conference matchup there. In, uh, well, in between Mentone and Akron, I guess, at Tippecanoe Valley, the Vikings taking on the Marion Giants and the Culver Cavaliers hosting the Elkhart Christian Academy Eagles tonight in a non-conference matchup there. So a good start here for Wabash leading 5-1. And that's going to be an ace, the libero number seven Ashlyn Cruz gets that one to drop off the tape. Oh, nice job there by Bullinger, able to get that across. And they get the point, hard-earned point there for the Zebras. There, Strasser serving for, uh, for Rochester. That one hit into the net, 8-3. <laughs> and Wilson with the serve and the point for the Apaches. Zebras want a timeout here, 9-3 early in set number one in favor of Wabash. We're going to keep it here on the uh, floor for this timeout.
That one goes to Wabash, now up 10-3. Pulling her with the kill, gives the serve back over to the Zebras. Lily Lett gonna go back and serve it for Rochester. Clevenger back now for the Zebras. Another point for the Zebras. All the way back to within three, trailing 11-8 now. And that's gonna drop down for a point for the Apaches. And that went into the net. So the ball goes back over to the Zebras trailing 12-9. Haley Durkis serving for the Zebras. Gets that point. All the way back to within two now for Rochester. Good job by the Zebras battling back here against the Apaches. This is a really good JV uh, team for Wabash. Pretty young on both uh, JV and varsity. This senior night here tonight, they do have four seniors on the roster. And all the way back and tie it at 12, and the Apaches want a timeout here to talk it over. We'll leave it here on the floor again, 12-12 here in set number one of the JV matchup between the Zebras and the Wabash Apaches. Other action going on, like we said tonight, Tippecanoe Valley hosting the Marion Giants. JV in progress right now there at Valley. They lead 16-4 in set one. Culver hosting Elkhart Christian. It's tied at 12 in the first game. I assume they're doing JV. Sometimes those smaller Christian schools, I know they had 
Community Baptist there last night, and they only had one game. And Durkis into the net, so the timeout ices Durkis. Gives the Apaches back the one-point advantage. And back to serve is Olala. Ola, Elena, Olala. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Dirk is just out. So out of the timeout, the Apaches score three in a row, now lead 15-12. So that was a uh, good timeout there by Coach Montgomery of Wabash. Nice dig there by Lily Lett. And uh, that one hit into the net by Wilson. Serve goes back over to Rochester, and it will be Mia Howdeshell back with the serve for the Zebras. And the little slide hit by Wabash, and they're going to call Walter in the net. So three in a row now by Rochester, and we're back tied at 15. How does Shell gets it to go over off of the tape? Let and she finds the corner. Great play there by the freshman Lily Let back in front now. 16-15 are the Zebras. And that ties it back up at 16. Been a good first uh, set here between the Rochester and Wabash. Back in front are the Apaches. <laughs> Durkis gets that one across, and they're going to call a double hit. No, they're going to call in the net on Wabash. Back at, tied up now, 17. Taylor Howard back to serve for Rochester. And a good kill there by Bullinger. And Rochester back in front. Free ball from the Apaches. Let. Good dig there by Wabash. Bullinger finds the back line. Good aim. Bullinger with the kill. And a two point lead now for. The Rochester Zebras battling all the way back from eight points down early in this set. 1917 here against the Apaches. Yeah. 
And that one makes it 20 to 17. Taylor still serving for the Zebras. How to shell good dig, but right into the net. And back to serve, trailing two is the libero. Ashlyn Cruz, number seven. Strasser, left hand, puts it down. Big play by Dara Strasser right there, puts that one home. Zebras up 21-18, and she will be at the service line for the Zebras. And that one finds the end line. Good play there by number 14, Hailey Ward, a sophomore for the Apaches. Coming in and serving will be Wilson. And on the inline, Bullinger puts that one in. Audrey Bullinger, another kill for the Zebras. Three away from closing out the first set. And that one is put down for the kill by Olala. Again, I apologize if I'm not even close to saying that name right. Good serve, nice dig, Strasser. And another kill for Audrey Bullinger. Howard comes back in for Bullinger. Clevenger comes in for Bullinger. Howard back in. Clevenger serves. And we have match point for the Zebras, 24-20. And that one is hit into the net, and the Zebras come all the way back and take set number one, 25-20 over the Apaches. Great job, they trailed by as many as eight, I believe, early in that set. Come back and win that one by five. We're gonna take a break, come back with set number two of the JV matchup here in just a moment on RTC TV4. I wanna remind everyone that this Friday at the Rochester High School football game at Barnhart Field, uh, starting at 5.30, the Ken Hughes benefit dinner will be taking place. That was originally supposed to happen before the Tiffany Valley game. Of course, that one got canceled, as did last week's game at Peru. So the Zebras back in action, homecoming this Friday, taking on Northfield. And the gates will open at 5.30. You can drive through and walk up. They will have pulled pork, chips, and a drink, all for only $8. All that to benefit Coach Ken Hughes of the Rochester Zebras.
Four hits called on Wabash. So Rochester taking on here in set number two, right where they left off at the end of set number one. Howard with the serve. Dunwoody into the net, so the serve goes back over to Wabash. Stumbo. Sorry, Cruz. No, that's probably Stumbo. Sorry, they have they have me confused with the sevens here. Janica Stumbo, I believe, is the libero for the JV. They also have a libero for the varsity that wears number seven, but uh, Ashlyn Cruz is a junior, so I'm guessing Stumbo would be the libero for the JV. I apologize, I did uh, misidentify her in the first set. Bailey Freon in for Rochester. Serve goes into the net, makes it 4 3. And that one goes along. All right, the Clevenger back to serve, leading 5 3. That one down with the kill for Wabash. How does Shell get that one over? A little confusion there on the zebra side. That one put down by Walter. And we're tied up at five. So the Apache's showing some resilience coming back here in set number two. And that one is put down by Olala. So now Wabash has the lead, 6-5. I believe that is Madison White, number 21, with the serve for Wabash. And she drops it in. Freon and Hadeshell look at each other like, I thought you were getting it, and uh, I thought you were getting it, and then uh, it ended up dropping. So 7-5. And that one drops down with the free ball kill for Haley Durkis. And Durkis on the serve. Seeger's back. Even at seven. Good look there at Durkis.
Nice volley here by both sides. Going to be a well-earned point, and that one into the net. Durkis comes up short, and Wabash gets the point. Olala back to serve for the Apaches. Nice serve, good dig there by Clevenger. Off the tip. And wow, good effort to get that one across. That was Kiara Wilson going away from the net, able to free ball that one across, and it drops in for the point. 9 7. Olala again, nice serve, and that's going to be an ace. And a timeout called by Coach Durkis as the Wabash Apaches have opened up a three-point advantage here in set number two of the JV matchup. Look around the area, see what the other scores are. It is Tippecanoe Valley in set number two of the JV match, leading Marion 14-12. They lead that one set to zero. Culver leads Elkhart Christian 8-3 in set number two. They also lead one set to zero. I don't have a scoreboard over at Pioneer that the Panthers taking on the, the Triton Trojans in a conference matchup over in Royal Center. I think Val is over there. So I'll, uh, And another point for the Apaches, opening up a four-point advantage. Seven here in set number two. And that's going to be a kill. I believe that was Howard put that one home for Rochester. Gives the serve back over to the Zebras. Abby Darling, a freshman, back on the serve for Rochester. And the Zebras get a point. Back to within three. And Darling with the ace. Push Stumbo back and all the way to the wall on that serve. And that one, unfortunately, going to go wide for Darling. Rochester boys up in Culver tonight playing the Culver Cavaliers in soccer. And they lead 4-0 with 34 minutes to go in that match. Val up there giving some updates on that. I believe he's going to be heading down to Pioneer after he gets done there. Doing a little double duty tonight. That one's going to go long. So Rochester back to within one. is going to go wide. So we are back even at 13. Taylor Howard serving for Rochester. And that one long as well. So Rochester has battled back from 12, was it 13-8? It's 
either 12 8 or 13 8. It might have been 12 7. So I know they were down five. And they have uh, scored six. I was going to say six in a row, but I think that's uh, a six to two run to leave us uh, tied at 14 now. And that one's blocked at the net. I'm going to say it was off the net. Point for the Apaches. Stumbo serving for Wabash. The roster is a little confusing just because they have everyone listed all together. They don't have them split into varsity and JV. Actually, Rochester has the same set up on their roster. So the one confusing spot is Stumbo and Cruz both having a number seven libero jersey. That's going to be a point Zebras. Friant comes in and will serve now for Rochester. There's a good look at Bailey Friant. That's blocked. Good job, How to Shelf, keeping that one alive. going to go down for an ace. It's highly Ward. Gives Wabash a three-point advantage here in set number two, 18-15. Shell able to get it down coming off to the left side. And she will go back and serve here for Rochester. hit. She just came in for the Zebras. Makes it 19-16. One drops down in front of Carmichael. Clevenger back to serve. And Hattishell gets that one to go. And we have a timeout by Wabash. Apaches lead 19-18 here in set number two. Rochester leads the match one set to zero.
So out of the timeout, Clevenger still on the service line for Rochester. And that one going to be hit out of bounds. Ties it at 19. Race to six here for both teams. And Howard puts it home. So the Zebras have battled back. They are the first ones to 20. Let's see if they can beat Wabash to 25 here. Trying to close this one out in two sets. And that's going to be an ace for Clevenger. In here in set number two, the Zebras battling back late in the set. And that's going to be tipped across. Good job there by Sailors. And gives the serve back over to Wabash. Back to serve is going to be Madison White. Friant digs that one out, goes over to the Apache's side. Taylor and into the net. Nothing they could do on that one. Durkis into the net. And we are tied at 21. Coach Durkis wants a timeout. Talk it over with the Lady Zebras. Tiffany Valley has won the JV matchup, two sets to zero over Marion. So they're in the process of warming up. So they'll be getting started with the varsity match in uh, oh, 20 minutes or so. Culver looking to do the same against Elkhart Christian, leading 21-10 in set number two against the Eagles. Here we are tied in set number two, 21-21. And ironically enough, serving is number 21, Madison White. And that is Taylor Howard, number five, with the big kill for the Zebras. And coming in for Freon is Keaton Doran. And Durkis back to serve off of the top of the tape and down on Rochester's side. Lala back to serve for Wabash. And that one going to be put down with the kill is Wilson. And the Apaches two away from making a third set necessary. And another kill by Wilson. Set point for Wabash. And that's going to be set number two, 25 22 for the Apaches, forcing a third and decisive set. Coming up here in just a moment from Wabash High School on RTC TV4. All right, back here at Wabash High School, set number three, JV matchup. All knotted at one. This is going to go to 15. Minimum of 15, I guess. It could go longer. Rochester took set one, 25-20. Wabash came back and scored the last five of set number two. 
after the Zebras had taken a 22-20 lead and took set number two, 25-22 over the Zebras. Every point is magnified here in set number three as we only go to 15. Zebras pick up the first one. Howard with the serve. And the Wabash comes back and gets the second one. Knotted at one. A lot of the girls from the first set have gone into the locker room. And for the Rochester Zebras, I think Coach Leap is anticipating multiple uh, sets past three tonight in the varsity matchup and wants to have all those girls available for all of the sets they're going to need. So they did not play in set number two or set number three as they're getting ready for the varsity match. Friant, nice serve. Wabash overpasses. Off the tape and Friant not able to dig up the hit that time by Hiley Ward. So we are back tied at two now. And Ward back to serve for the Apaches. Out of shell, just got that across. Oh, last second there, Freon decided to uh, give that to Clevenger and it was too late. Nothing Riley could do with that. Apaches get the point, take the lead. Ward still on the service line. And that one put home by Dunwoody for the kill and the zebra point. Powell coming in. Mia yeah, Howdeshell back to serve for Rochester. Nodded at three in set number three. And a good job there. Clevenger let that one go. It was long. Out of shell, oh, a little long. Oh, boy, she's driving him back. That was a nice looking serve, but it just uh, kept going, kept going. So back over to the Apaches. Carmichael back to serve. Oh, good cross quarter off of the tip with the kill is Powell. That was tipped. Five four, Clevenger with the serve. <laughs> Big point there, Rochester ahead by two. A rainbow serve there by Clevenger. And that one long. 7 4. Clevenger doing a nice job on the service line here for Rochester. And 
and try as hard as she could, Hartley into the net, at least under the net. And now a commanding 8-4 lead for Rochester here in set three. Good serve, Clevenger not able to get it across, ace. And a timeout as the Zebras have opened up a 9-4 lead here in set number three. Zebra's soccer team has opened up a 6-0 lead with 15 minutes left up at Culver. That is the boys' soccer team taking on the Cavaliers. So as we're talking soccer, the draws came out for the girls as they are heading up to Argus. Uh, they will be playing in the first match of the sectional taking on Culver. That's a uh, rematch of a game that you saw on RTC TV4. Culver won that regular season matchup 3-2. Game number two of that one will be Argus taking on Bremen. Taylor hits that one long. Gives the serve back to Wabash. Going back to serve is Madison White. And White serves up an ace. We saw in set number two, they came back, scored five in a row to win 25-22. That time White though goes long on the serve. Good job by Howdeshell. And that's a big point as they move into double digits here in set number three. And back to serve is Durkis. Out of shell, just a little short on the free ball. Wabash student section has arrived. In skirts tonight, that's always entertaining. Olivia Harden serving seven, serving 10. Howard able to find an opening in the back line. Puts that one down, 11-7. Darling back to serve for Rochester. And that one goes wide that time for Ward. Bad pass and nothing Ward can do with that one. Zebra's two away from closing this one out. Nice serve from Darling. A little bit of a misplay there by Durkis. Able to get it across. Good recovery by Rochester and that one drops down. 14-7 match point for the Zebras. And the Rochester head coach, Chelsea Montgomery, wants to talk it over with her troops. Going into match point out of the timeout.
right, match point here for the Zebras. Uh, Darling gives it a go. 14-7. And that one hit into the net. Ward can't get it across, and the Zebras take the match. Two sets to one over the Wabash Apaches. Rochester won set number one, 25-20. Wabash won set number two, 25-22. And the Zebras come back and win set number three, 15-7. Take the JV matchup, two sets to one. We'll take a break. We'll come back pregame for the varsity matchup coming up next on RTC TV4. Let's meet both teams. First, for the visiting Lady Zebras. Number two, Kinsey Bradley. Number four, Lexus Thomas. Number six, Kennedy D. Number eight, Emily Hughes. Number ten, Dara Strasser. Number sixteen, Alaska, Alexa Wiskowski. And the Libera, number nine, Kylie Houston. The ladies who are coached by Aaron Lee. And now the starters for your Lady Apaches. Number three, Emma Tracy. Number 23, Sydney Sigafoos. Number 10, Baron Morris. Number 13, Isabella. All right, here we go. Varsity matchup getting ready to go from Wabash High School. I want to thank uh, Mr. Floyd McWirt, the athletic director here at Wabash. Been uh, very accommodating to us. Every time we've asked to come over here, it's been a uh, very pleasant experience. Over here for uh, baseball sectionals last year. And 
They did a great job hosting. Of course, it was uh, even better since the Zebras uh, picked up the championship here last spring in baseball. And it's going to be a big matchup here tonight between the Zebras and the Apaches. Rochester 4-2 and two in conference. The Apaches 4-1. and one. So Rochester trying to hold a serve against a team that's ahead of them in conference. Good start there for the Zebras as Thomas puts that one down for the kill. Kylie Houston back to serve. Start things off for Rochester from the service line. Tipped over and a little miss pass there by Hughes. And that one goes back over to the Apaches. Serving is Jade Stumbo, a junior. A Stumbo name is uh, synonymous here with Wabash. Heard a lot of Stumbos over the years. And that one goes down for a point. Stumbo still has the serve. And that time, that one is long for Wabash. Ironically enough, that was Casey Long who hit that one long. And Holloway comes in and serves for the Zebras. Block, Hughes with a big block. Gives the Zebras the lead. That one is tipped, but it's out. There's a good look at Riley Holloway. 5-2 junior. Four two in favor of Rochester here in set number one of the varsity contest. Holloway sends it across. And she has a nice dig there. Hughes drops that one in. Emily Hughes with the kill. Some good energy here early from the Zebras. Holloway again, sends it across. That one tipped, Hughes with the dig. Kuskasekis, Coleman crossed. Tipped by Hughes, and Kuskasekis goes in two. Wabash is ready. Houston with the dig. And off the block, and it drops in. Good block that time by Wabash. Nothing you can do on that one. 5-3, and Olala. And I did hear that she uh, is an exchange student here at Wabash and was celebrated with the seniors, and she has an ace. So I was saying that name right. I was uh, kind of worried that I was saying that wrong, but Olala. Should have listened better to where she was uh, from. Hughes off the right side, and that's going to be long. And it's 5-5. Five, five. Boy, she's got a nice serve. Yeah. 
Tipped across. Good play there by Vandervelden. Isabella Vandervelden, a 6 1 freshman. It's a name I've heard before here at Wabash as well. I believe she had a brother possibly that played. And that one ties it at six. Kuskasekis back to serve for Rochester. And she sends that one long. Some service errors here from Rochester. And back to serve is Kendra Wiles, 5'4", senior. DS for the Apaches. That one's blocked. Good job there by Bullinger, keeping that alive. And that one put down by Vandervelden. Eight six. Wiles remains on the service line. And that one goes long. So a service error for Wabash gives the ball back to Rochester and the senior Emily Hughes back to serve for the Zebras. And she gets a point for Rochester on the ace. Of course, that last match that I was at for Rochester against McConaughey, she had, I believe, 17 or 18 in a row in that first set and had another nice run in set number three. I think she had eight or nine go over in a row in that set as well. So her serving has uh, definitely been on par. And that one dropped in Vandervelden with the good placement for Wabash. Puts the Apaches back in front, 9-8. Cruz with the serve for the Apaches. And Vandervelden, she is, boy, she's going to be a handful for this Wabash team for this Rochester team from this Wabash team. Already proven herself very capable here in the early part of set number one as a freshman. And that one into the net for Westendorf. Coleman back to serve for Rochester. Westendorf again into the net, knots it at 10. Jade Stumbo not able to get that one across. And the Zebras regain the lead. That was Emma Tracy with the tip over. Sydney Sikafus, 5'5", sophomore, back to serve for Wabash. And she sends that one along. Kinsey Bradley coming in. She will have the serve for the Zebras. Sends one short. Tipped across. Good job by Alexi Thomas keeping that alive. Gets the pass over. Houston with the dig. Leap. And they're going to call a double hit on the Apaches.
Bradley service error gives it back over to Wabash. Emma Tracy back to serve for the Apaches. Oh, good job, Strasser. What a hustle play by the freshman, keeping that ball alive. And that one is tipped, and good play. Kuska Sekis lets it go down out of bounds. Dara Strasser, dare I say, what an effort play there by the freshman. I've been hanging around Val too long on that one. Starting to get his puns going. 14-12, Houston with the serve. And not able to find the sideline. Hughes sends it out. <laughs> and that one is short for Jade Stumbo. All the way back to serve for Rochester in front, 15-13. And tried to go cross court and it goes out of bounds. Coming in is Olala. She will be serving for Wabash. Lieber's holding on to a one-point advantage. Short set, off the block, and down for Hughes. Kuskasekis to serve for the Zebras. Hughes had to kind of double check on that. Timing was a little off. Hits that one long. Kendra Wiles, 5-4 senior, back to serve for the Apaches, trailing by one. And Bullinger with the kill off of Wabash. Brings up Hughes again for the serve. Another service error for Rochester. Giving up four or five points to Wabash here in this set on service errors. Gonna have to clean that up. And that's a hitting error there. Coleman sends that one wide. Knots it at 17. Cruz back to serve for Wabash. And Kuskasekis with the tip over on two. Goes out of system, puts it home. And Coleman's going to have the serve for Rochester. Houston into the net.
Sydney Sikafus going to come in and serve for Wabash. All tied up at 18. And that one goes long. So a service error for the Apaches. Gives the serve back over to Rochester. Bradley going to come in with the serve now for the Zebras. And nice dig by Strasser, but unfortunately the pass goes awry. Big hit there by Stumbo. Stumbo, a 5'10 junior for the Apaches. And Thomas puts that one down. Hughes comes in for Thomas and Houston back to serve for the Zebras. Haven't seen a whole lot of extended serves from either side here yet this evening. Been one, maybe two at the most. Cross to Hughes and Emily puts it down. And Houston into the net. 21-20. Stumbo back to serve for the Apaches. And she puts it into the net. It's a pair of service errors back over to Rochester. Riley Holloway back to serve for the Zebras. Off the block, but that goes out of bounds. Farron Morris with the kill. And in is Olala, back to serve for the Apaches. Wabash trailing by one. Holloway with nice dig. Coleman, nice dig on that back end. It was, I believe, Olala back there with that dig for the Apaches. Blocked by Hughes and down point Zebras 23 21. And the Wabash Apaches won a timeout. Coach Cromer. Calls one as the Rochester Zebras lead 23-21. We'll keep it here during this timeout. It's been a little bit of a back and forth battle this whole set between Wabash and Rochester. Zebras taking control here late in the set. See if they can get the final two and take set number one. It's going to be Kuskasakis with the serve coming out of the timeout. Trying to close this one out. Set one is. Uh, 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 Bullinger coming in for Bradley. Kuskasakis sends it over. No signal from the line judge. So the uh, up ref calls her over. 
talks it over, and they're going to give the point to Rochester. Say that was inbounds. So set point here, set number one, 24-21. Kuskaseka sends it across. Tipped back. Good pass from Houston. Blocked and down. That was Vandervelden and Westendorf with the big block for Wabash. Keeping the Apaches alive. Match point, or set point, sorry. Number two coming up here, Kendra Wiles. Back to serve for the Apaches. And now a timeout call, called by Coach Leap as Wabash is able to stave off two set points. 24-23 when we come back out of the timeout here. Check some scores from around the area. Valley leads one set to zero. They're up 4-2 in set number two against the Marion Giants. Elkhart Christian has just taken set number two, 25-18 over Culver. They have a two set to zero lead. Wiles with the serve. Set point number three for Rochester. And good play that time, the cross quarter by Westendorf. Not much Coleman can do with that. And we are back even, so set point is no longer for Rochester. Good job by the Apaches getting this back to square one. And that one is put down. That is Vandervelden. She had two big hits on that, and just like that, it is set point for Wabash. So three set points averted for the Rochester Zebras by Wabash, and they battle back and lead 25-24. And now it's the Apaches who are trying to put away set number one with their first set point coming out of the timeout. A lot of fight in this Wabash Apaches team here. Kendra Wiles remains on the service line coming out of the timeout for Wabash. And Hughes able to put that one down. So that kills a Wabash set point opportunity. We're back even, 25-25. Hughes with the serve. And that overpass is put down by Lexi Thomas. Now it's back to a set point for the Zebras. Now Wabash wants a timeout. 26-25. Coach Cromer wants to talk it over with her ladies. A lot of action here at Wabash. This is just set number one. Had a great JV matchup. That went three sets. Set number one is any indication uh, we might be here for a while tonight. Set point number five, I believe. Not all in a row for Rochester.
Coleman's blocked. Not able to dig that out, so we're back to square one. 26-26. Back to serve for the Apaches is Ashlyn Cruz. Coleman on the right. Thomas very close to a lift there, no call. Coleman tips it across. Good dig by Bollinger. And that one is long. Westendorf, that puts Rochester back with a set point, 27-26. Coleman back to serve with an opportunity here. Belief set point number six, three different times. Rochester has had a chance to close this one out. Free ball from the Zebras. And that tipped out of bounds. And the Zebras have finally pulled it out. Set number one to 28-26. Wow. That is one of the best single sets of a match I think I've ever seen. That was that was something very, very exciting to see. And good uh, result there for the Zebras. They take set number one, 28-26. So we'll take a break, catch our breath, and come back for set number two here in just a moment from Wabash High School. Things off for Rochester. What a first set. That's a call I've not seen before. So you can actually kick the ball, but they called a carry on the kick because she lifted her foot, I believe was the uh, call. So the fact that she lifted her foot, not just stuck it under the ball, they call it a carry. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I've not seen that one. So all kinds of interesting things here tonight. And Houston long on the serve. So we had a set go 28-26. We've had a lift called on a kick. And it's Wabash's serve. Oh, a little backhand there by Kuskasekis. And long from Hughes, knots it at two. Emma Tracy, 5'6", junior. Serving for the Apaches. Overpass, good dig by Kuskasekis. And that one is put home by Farron Morris, 5'8", junior, with the kill. Puts the Apaches back in front. And Tracy into the net, evens it up at three. All the way in to serve for the Zebras. And a cross-court kill there by Jade Stumbo. And she will be back to serve for Wabash. And that time she goes long with the hit. Alexis Kuskasekis back to serve for Rochester. And the ace for the junior. And a 
big block, Coleman and Hughes send it back across. Off the tape, Vandervelden with the hit. And Kuska Sekas just finds that gap right between the front and back rows. Puts that one home. And we got a timeout. Coach Cromer wants to talk things over. 7-4, Rochester set number two. Zebras have a non-conference matchup on the road Thursday night in Winnemac. Warriors been struggling a little bit this year, a pretty young team, before coming back home next Tuesday and taking on Tippecanoe Valley, big conference game. Valley 6-0 in conference play coming in. And the cross quarter is out for Coleman a little bit too long. So out of the timeout, the Apaches get the serve back. Back to serve at number 10, Farron Morris. Hughes with a big hit, and that's going to drop Emily Hughes. Big hitter. And she will be back to serve. Zebras in front, 8-5. That's Lily Lett, number 23, into the game. And that one's going to go wide. Good play there by the freshman letting that one go. Thomas puts the overpass down. Lexi Thomas, good to see her back in her form. Struggled there with a little bit of an injury there earlier in the season. Seems to be doing much better. Zebra's in front 10-5. And that's off the tip. And down for a Apache point, an Apache point. Coming in for the serve, number 24, Kendra Wiles, 5'4", senior. Coleman long on that hit. Wiles gets another shot here at the service line. Thomas not able to get on top of that one. You can see she hit that one from behind. Sends that one long. Patchy's back to within two. Wiles on the service line still for the Zebras, or the Apaches, sorry. Thomas, change up. Wabash was awake. And that one goes wide for the Apaches. They're asking and getting a tip call by the up judge. So the Apaches back from 10-5, now 10-9. There's not going to be a runaway in any set here against these two teams. I don't think you're going to see tonight. And that one drops down. Houston tried to get underneath it, not able to. Five in a row now for Wabash, and we are knotted at 10. Wiley still with the serve. She's been wily from that service line. 
And I am just <laughs> got to quit with the vowel puns. That one goes long. So finally able to break that serve from Wiley. Coleman back now to serve for Rochester. Vander Velden, smart play by the freshman. Cruz back now to serve, all tied up at 11. And that one's going to drop down. Westendorf with the kill. Puts the Apaches back in front, 12-11. 7-1 run by Wabash. All the way back from 10-5 down and in front. Well, they're going to say that hit the tape. It looked like it might have been off of the Wabash player's hand, but their call was a... Net shot and four hits. So Rochester's got to find a uh, answer here for the Apaches. Nine one run now. Cruz with the serve. Leap, overpass, shot down, Aaron, er, Aaron. <laughs> Kennedy leap. Makes it 14-12. Bradley in to serve for Rochester. And Leap puts that one down. Kennedy Leap with a couple of good plays for the Zebras. And Rochester back to within one. And Bradley with the serve. And unfortunately, Leap not able to dig that one out in bounds on Wabash's side. In to serve for the Apaches is number 23, Sidney Sikafus. And that one was outside of the antenna. 16-13, Sikafus with the serve. Sixteen, fifteen. Houston with the serve. And the point to the Apaches. Put away, Farron Morris elevates and puts it home. Bradley, Strasser gives chase, but not able to catch up to that one. Wabash back in front by four. And Coach Leap wants a timeout with the Apaches leading 19-15. They'll have the serve when we come back.
Well, way back at the beginning of set number two, Rochester had a 10-5 advantage. Since then, it's been all Wabash. They have outscored the Zebras 14-5 and lead 19-15. Trying to close out set number two and even it up at one set apiece. At the service line is junior Emma Tracy. Holloway will go back to serve for Rochester. And that one put down. So just like that, Rochester back in within two. And they're going to call the Zebras in the net. Might have been Hughes getting that call. 20 to 17. Stumbo to serve. And Coleman not able to get a clean pass off of the Stumbo serve. Ace for Jade, and it's 21 14 Apaches. And a good play there. Houston lets it go, and it goes a long. Gutsy play there by the senior Houston. Kuskasekis with the serve for Rochester. And that one put down. Farron Morris with the kill. And the Apaches lead 22-18. And Morris back to serve. Hughes is blocked. And return kill for Wabash. And Coach Leap wants a timeout, 23-18 here in set number two. Pioneer has closed out Triton in straight sets in the varsity matchup. Panthers are the Hoosier North Conference champions for 2021. And that one drops in match or set point, sorry, set it again. Set point here for Wabash. And that one drops in for Morris with the ace. Wabash takes set number two, 25-18, and evens the match at one set apiece. We'll be back for set number three here from Wabash High School in just a moment on RTC TV4.
2-0 Wabash here early in set number three. That one's going to go out. Kylie Houston going to start things off for Rochester from the service line here in set number three. And gets that one in just inside for an ace. And Wabash is going to get called in the net. So Rochester catches a break. Yeah. yeah. Well, nobody realized that call was made. Either team did. So Houston stays on the service line as the Apaches called for in the net. Hughes, it was tipped. Emily Hughes with the big kill. And Houston's serve goes long, gives Wabash back the serve. Stumbo back to serve for the Apaches. Off the tip. Stumbo tried to dig out Hughes. Not able to get a good pass back to her teammates. And Holloway back to serve. The Zebra's in front, 5-3. And that one in Baron Morris, right inside the line. Morris back to serve. And Morris with the ace. Let's it go long. Kuskasekis back to serve for the Zebras. And that one into the net for Westendorf. Haven't seen her with many hitting errors this evening. Kuskasekis with the serve. And good placement there by Vander Velden. Boy, she's got a complete game. She has power. She has smarts. She can place the ball. And she's also very tall. 6'1". Wow. Oh, that one is blocked by Vander Velden. Kuskasekis tried to get the dig but couldn't. And that knots it back at seven. We saw Wiles with a great service set in set number two for Wabash. That went off of the net. And the Apaches back out in front. Got some moisture on the floor here. They're going to try and clean up a little bit. And 
another one is over at Culver. Elkhart Christian defeats the Cavs. Varsity sets three to zero. Wiles serves. Patchy's leading by one. And Bollinger puts it home, the freshman showing her hops. And that'll bring Hughes back to serve for Rochester. And Vandervelden. Puts that one home. Cruz back to serve for Wabash. And Lexi Thomas. Gets the ball back for the Zebras. Coleman in to serve. And Stumbo hits it into the net. And Emma Tracy not able to get that one across. Good dig by Houston. There's a huge hit by Stumbo. Leap. Cruz able to get that. And what a job getting that across Westendorf. Let's take another look at that one. That was a whale of a play there by Cruz. And that one is long. Bradley back to serve for the Zebras. Rochester in the lead. That one is going to go wide. Puts Tracy at the service line. Kusakis <laughs> blocked. Farron Morris is shot, but it goes out. Ties us up at 12. And Wabash back out in front. And that one is short. Tracy into the net. Kylie Houston back to serve for the Zebras. Tied up at 13 here in set number three. And that dig goes wide for Wabash. <laughs> Off the block and down, Farron Morris puts that one home for the Apaches. And Stumbo back to serve. Off the tape and down, Hughes gets the kill.
Riley Holloway now will serve for Rochester. Cruz just gets that, and that cross quarter is wide. Sixteen fourteen zebras. Vander Velden, Kuskasekis tried to block it, and it went through, and down for the kill. Aaron Morris back to serve for the Apaches. A little, I'll set it to you. You set it back to me between Kuskasekis and Hughes. And Emily Hughes able to put that one away. And that puts Kuskasekis at the service line. Zebras up 17-15. And that one put away Casey Long, the senior on senior night, hammers that one home. Kendra Wiles back to serve for Wabash. Zebras leading 17 16. And Wiles short on that one. And that'll put Emily Hughes back to serve for Rochester. Cruz with the serve. And that pass in the net. Holloway. A little long on the pass. And we're back even at 18. And another passing error for Rochester. Wabash back out in front. 19 18. Cruz with the serve. Coleman climbs the ladder. And that one put home. Farron Morris climbs the ladder even higher and puts that one home. Wabash in front, 2018. Coach Leap wants to talk it over. Timeout on the floor. This timeout, this is going to be a big moment here for Rochester. Can they battle back down 2018, take a two set to one lead, or will it be Wabash who takes the two set to one lead here in the third set? Cruz. And the freshman Bullinger finds the back line. Kills the serve of Cruz and brings the Zebras back to within one. Coleman back to serve for Rochester. And Lexi Thomas with the tip across finds the opening, knots it at 20. And Stumbo puts that one down. And 
Kennedy Leap puts that one home. Knots it at 21. Boy, this one looks like it may not go 25 either. Set number one took 28-26 for Rochester to win. This one might be a similar final score. Bradley with the serve. And blocked by Thomas. Kuskasekis, that's still alive. Nope, they're going to say it's dead. And the Zebra's back in front by one. Bradley with the serve. And Wabash wants a timeout, trailing 22-21 to the Zebras. Zebras have battled back and lead by one. Bradley with the serve. That overpass almost dropped in for Rochester. Cruz ready for that tip. That one not able to get across. Morris hits it into the net. And Rochester back up in front, 23-21. Puts that one home. Set point for the Zebras here in set number three. Timeout taken by Wabash. When we come back, it is Rochester with the serve and the opportunity to put it away and take a two set to one lead here against the Apaches. Wabash timeout. Can Rochester close this one out? And they're not going to do it on that play. That one goes long for Bradley. Another set point for the Zebras. 24-22. Tracy with the serve for Wabash. And the big kill by Morris. And Tracy with the ace. And we're knotted at 24. And now Coach Leap wants a timeout. Very similar fashion to what happened here in set number one. Three set points for the Zebras. The Wabash Apaches able to stave off set points and tie it up here at 24.
Well, this is a mirror image of set number one. Now it is set point for the Apaches, 25-24. Tracy on the serve. And they're going to say that was in the net. Looked like it was off the block, but that's going to do it. So unlike set number one, Wabash able to pull this one out 26-24. And they take a commanding two set to one lead as we move into the fourth set. We'll take a break and come back for set number four here in just a moment on RTC. All right, welcome back here, Wabash High School. We'll uh, see the resiliency of the Rochester Zebras here in set number four, see what they can do after losing set number three. They get point number one. That was a tough one. They had set point three times, end up losing set point, and then the Apaches come back and win that one 26-24, scoring the last four points to win that match, that set take a commanding two sets to one lead here as we move into the fourth set. That one up and over the light and down. Not much that uh, Dara Strasser could do on that one. So we are all knotted at one and Emma Tracy who served the Apaches out in set number three at the service line. Almost serves up an ace. Nice dig there by Houston. Blocked. That was Leap and Kuskasekis with a big block at the net. Holloway back to serve for Rochester. And that tip across drops in for a point for the Apaches. Back to serve is Stumbo. Wabash pulled away in set number two, winning 25-18. But the other two sets both went past regulation points, I guess. I don't know what the exact term is on that, but uh, they both took more than 25 to win. And Holloway can't get the dig, so Wabash starts off four to two here in set four. Wabash trying to keep their TRC hopes alive. Only one loss in conference. Still have several important games to play to determine the conference championship here. Southwood and Valley both setting with no losses, but they still have some big games to play themselves. Zebras need to win here tonight and win out and get some help from some other teams. If they want to have any hope of uh, getting into that TRC mix. Kuskasekis on the serve. And the ace. Ball goes into the bleachers. Coleman. Five, five. Back to serve is Farron Morris. And Hughes puts that one home.
Emily will go back to serve for the Zebras. And the ace for the senior. Westendorf finds the corner. And Wiles comes in to serve for the Apaches. And the tip across there for Westendorf goes down. Seven, seven, Wiles with the serve. And the overpass is put down by Tracy. And the Apaches back in front. And Westendorf not able to get that one over. And Coleman at the service line for the Zebras. Bad pass by the Apaches. Big hit by Morris. Coleman digs it out. Off of the block and down for Vandervelden. Zebras have done a pretty good job of limiting her hits. But that one was a big one for the Apaches. Cruz with the serve. And Leap with the kill. Kennedy Leap gives the Zebras 10 and the lead and the serve for Bradley. Dumbo finds the corner. Good job by the 5'10 junior. Evens us up at 10 here in set four. And back to serve is Jillian Sailors. Ooh, that's the first time I noticed her serving here in this one. Good job by Kuskasekis, not uh, running over Bradley, but uh, Wabash able to put that one home back in front, 11-10. And Sailors goes long service error, ties it at 11. And Houston comes back to the service line for the Zebras. Hughes with the kill. Oh 
Houston serve. Off of the block and down, Farron Morris gets the kill. And Emma Tracy will be back at the service line for the Apaches. Hughes blocked, dug out by Strasser, sent back across. Back in front are the Apaches. Bradley, good job by Leap on that overpass. And the overpass on the other side, and Hughes puts it home. Knotted up at 13. And Holloway in for the serve. And a little confusion by the Apaches. Puts the zebras back up by one. And Stumbo puts it home. And she will be back to serve for Wabash. And Holloway lets it go, and it goes long. I'll put Kuskasakis back at the service line for Rochester. Zebra's up 15-14. And that one is wide for Wabash. So a rare hitting error there by the Apaches. That, uh, that was an odd looking play there. It looked like uh, looked like the Wabash player was getting ready to set it and Hughes just hammers it home from the other side. That was a, a little bit of a, an odd looking play there. At the point gives the Zebras a three-point advantage. And Vandervelt nails, drills that one home. Back to serve is Farron Morris. Allie Houston, smart play there by the senior, lets that one go long. Hughes back to serve. Three point lead here in set four for the Zebras. And the cross quarter is put home. Casey Long gets the kill. And Wiles back to serve for the Apaches. <laughs> Coleman cross court finds the gap. Big play there by Kylie Coleman. And she will be back to serve. Nice serve, overpass, Thomas puts it home. And Rochester has a 2016 lead here in set number four. Coach Cromer wants to talk it over with the Apaches. 
the Rochester serve when we come out of the timeout. Just a moment. the timeout Coleman on the serve and that time Vandervelden puts it home for Wabash Cruz back to serve for the Apaches and leap gets it right on the line 21 17. And I'll put Bradley back at the serve for Rochester. Well, the JV matchup went the distance. Rochester won it two sets to one in three. Let's see if the varsity can force a fifth set here with Wabash. I think every time I've done a Wabash Rochester volleyball match, it has gone five sets and it's been instant classic. This is no different here tonight at Wabash. And that one is a point for the Apaches. If you're watching on channel four at home. I've got you scheduled till 930. I hope that's enough time. I put three and a half hours in for you. We can always make that adjustment if we need to, but uh, Thought that would be plenty of time for JV and varsity. Wasn't anticipating both of them possibly going full sets. And that one's put home by Stumbo. One thing that you know about this Wabash team from watching and just here tonight, they do not quit. You can't. Even at 24 points, you can't say that the game is over at any point. Back to within two. And Sailors service error, 23-20. Kylie Houston back to serve for the Zebras. And she serves up an ace. I don't know what was going on on the Wabash side on that one. It's just like everybody kind of fell asleep. Nobody even moved. So set point here for the Zebras. See if they can close this one out. 24-20. And Hughes. Hammers at home, and we are going five here tonight. Take another look at that one. Well, it wouldn't be a Rochester versus Wabash volleyball match if we didn't go five. And it has been a classic Zebras win sets one and four, book ending two in a row by Wabash. First set was 28-26 Rochester, second set was 25-18 Wabash. Third set was 26-24 Wabash. Zebras win set number four, 25-20. And Kylie Houston gonna start us off here in set number five. We're going 15 at the minimum here in five. And Stumbo gets the Apaches on the board to start things off. Tracy back to serve for Wabash. And the ace off the tape for Tracy. 
As we said in that JV match, this uh, final set, every point is amplified due to the fact that you're only going to 15. And every service error is amplified as well. And there is one for Tracy. And Holloway will come in to serve for the Zebras. And that one goes wide for Vandervelden, or Stumbo, sorry, 15 Stumbo. Holloway on the serve. Off the block and down, Casey Long with the kill for the Apaches. And Stumbo back to serve for Wabash. Great dig, Kuskasekis and Hughes goes off of that and hits it home. Great play there by the senior Emily Hughes. And Kuskasekis back to serve for Rochester. Blocked by Hughes. Blocked by Hughes. And they're gonna they're gonna say that was a sandwich, and they're gonna replay it. I don't know if that's the correct term, but they gonna say it was a stalemate. I don't know what you call it. Val probably knows the exact term, but it's gonna be a redo here by Kuskasekis. And off the block and in for the kill for Vandervelden. Aaron Morris back to serve for the Apaches. And Morris puts it in the net. A couple points here for Rochester on service errors by Wabash in this fifth set. Emily Hughes back to serve for Rochester. Free across. And Vandervelden gets it down. And Sailors in to serve for Wabash. Patchy's in front 5-4 here in set five. And off the block and down for the freshman. The Linger puts that one home for the Zebras. Coleman back to serve. Wabash going the wrong direction. Somehow from way far away, get that one across. And Vandervelden with the placement right in the gap. And Cruz back to serve. Patchy's back in front. And leap with a miss hit. Seven five. So Cruz has really played havoc on Rochester with her serves this evening. The sooner they can get her off the service line, the better off they're going to be. Great placement there by Tracy. Goes back across her body and gets that one down. Three-point advantage here for Wabash, 8-5 in set number five. Coach Leap wants to talk it over with the girls. When we come back out of the timeout, it's going to be Wabash's serve. Ashlyn Cruz on the service line for Wabash.
All right, Cruz sends it across. That timeout works. They were able to ice her. And the serve goes back over to the Zebras. Kenzie Bradley back to serve. And Stumbo off the block, but it goes down on the Zebras' side. Sikafus to serve. Good job by Strasser getting that dig, and that one put away by Thomas. We'll put Kylie Houston at the service line for Rochester, trailing by two. Leap with a big block. And again, Wabash able to scramble and keep that thing alive. It's just hard to get anything to go on the ground if you're Rochester. That Wabash team keeps everything alive, going away from the net. The tip, leap, it's still alive. Hughes gets it across. Stumbo still alive, and it goes down. What a point, what a well-earned point for Wabash. That's a big one for both teams, 10-7. The Apaches wouldn't let that ball go down. Going into the stands, bringing it back, free ball. It was just amazing volley there by both teams. Hughes puts that one home. Keeps the Zebras in it. Holloway coming back to serve for Rochester. Down two here in set number five. Stumbo, Bradley. Off the block. Hughes with a huge block. And the Apaches want a timeout. It gives me a chance here. Let's take a look at the last couple of plays. Those were some very good plays. First two plays ago. Hughes with the cross court kill. And then that last point. And the block. Zebra's back to within one. Holloway on the serve, coming out of the timeout for Rochester. Oh, Houston goes long. She wanted to hammer that one home. She was too far back and got behind it. Unfortunately for her, Stumbo serving now with the Apaches leading 11-9. Off the block and down for Hughes. Here's Kasekis with the serve. Zebra is within one. Oh, down the line. They've been going cross court, and that time Farron Morris goes down the line. Zebras were set up for that cross quarter. That was a great play there by Morris. She will be at the serve for Wabash. 
Short set to Hughes. And off the block and not able to get it back across. It'll be 13 10. Two in a row for Wabash. Coach Leap needs a timeout here with the Apaches needing two more to win this match. Tracy miss hits it. And Hughes back to serve for Rochester, trailing by two. Oh, and it was over past Thomas, not able to get that was uh, wide of her reach. And this is match point. 14-11 at the serve is Sailors for the Apaches. And the tip and the win for Wabash. Vander Velden, she's been doing that all night long and she's able to close it out in five. Valiant effort by Rochester, forcing a fifth set. 13-11. 